Welcome back to Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. And today we are going to <laughs> we are going to be going back to the Basil Hayden line. And this is the toast edition. They're putting it into a toasted barrel. Um, really figured we might as well get this checked off the list yeah. of done because we totally poo-pooed the 10-year. So why not? But have to say thanks to uh, a member of our whiskey club, Greg Lorenzi, uh, for providing the sample for the show. Yeah, don't have high hopes. Yeah, some of my friends that have had it, it they, they kind of poo-pooed it like we poo-pooed the 10. Yeah. It's just hard because this one's 80 proof, yeah. just like the 10. All of them are. Every yeah. Basil Hayden is 80 it's proof. Because mm. they do a dark rye as well. Yeah. Apparently also mm -hmm. 80 proof. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. The only, I will say, one of the interesting parts for this one is the mash bill. Yeah, brown, brown rice. Yeah, so instead of the 27% rye that they normally include, they switch that out for brown rice as the second grain. So it's corn, rice, and malted barley. So that's kind of an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look down in the description, these bottles, we have a link to glass bottle outlet if you uh, are looking to get a whole bunch of handshakes, they have really good deals, so. All right, let's see. There's a little more apparent. It's not much, I, I, I'm stretching. All right, <laughs> I stretch a little. But there's a little more vanilla, I guess, is what's coming off the yeah. toasting. The toasting is coming out a little bit. There's a little bit of brown sugar. Yep. But, mm, let's see. Take a little sip so you can come back to it and see if it... Yeah, that's what I remember is the tenure being really thin on the palate. So that's kind of the judgment area. More on the palate than the 10. Yeah. It's still... It's still thin. Yeah, it's kind of but water, there's, watery. Oddly, there's a little spice in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the brown rice is bringing in some spice there. That's kind of interesting. I guess that's the barreling. I, I, I'm not sure what's know. bringing that in there. But yeah, there's a little. Uh, it's real sweet now. The very, aftertaste is just sweet. Very sweet. And uh, yeah, thin. It's pretty thin. <laughs> it's really thin. I just don't get why Beam. So this is from Beam Centauri, uh, Jim Beam, all that stuff, Beam, Booker's, all that. They're, they're, they market this as a premium, premium bourbon. I mean, the regular bottle is 40 ish bucks, mm -hmm. this is 50 bucks. The 10 year was like 60 bucks. The dark rye, I think, is the 50 ish, like right in the, that middle, too. But then you proof it down to 80. I, I just don't get what you're going for. I don't mind that. I, I, actually, I'm enjoying the, the sweet aftertaste. You add a little more proof to this, it'd be a lot better. That's the a thing. Lot better. Give me at least 90. This 90, 94, 100 would be even better. Actually, has a possibility of being pretty good. The 10 year was so muted yeah. down. Water. How much water they needed to add to bring it down to 80 proof, I guess. Yeah. This one, it's there. Like it's, it could mm -hmm. be a good whiskey. Just why are you making it 80 proof? All right. Yeah, it drinks so thin. The nose is, I think the nose is actually nicer than the palate and then the finish is nice. Mm -hmm. But the middle palate is so thin and so watered down. I, I yeah. I just get a lot of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar and vanilla are yeah. kind of what comes through. So, add a few drops of water. Hopefully, some oils pop out in here and do something magical. I'm not betting on that, no. but I'm just saying. <laughs> Stranger things have happened, right? I feel like the nose is even more muted. Yeah, the nose just appeared. That's a shame. The toasting's not there though. Like, there's a a touch of an oak note, but. Oh, I got the oak note on that, on the taste. Oh, good. It's drank a, just a little bit hotter. I mean, that's the whole point of doing a second barreling in a toasted barrel, is to bring in a little bit more of a toasted oak, a, sometimes like a charred marshmallow mm -hmm. or a charred vanilla or something like that. There's a little bit more, yeah, there's a little more spice that pops into that yep. guy. Still sweet, still thin. Yep. So that's two out of the four that we've done of, of Basil Hayden. I know we've tasted regular Basil Hayden. I don't think I've ever done the dark rye. I've sampled it. It's from my memory, it's not bad. But okay. But this is the, so yeah, they've got four. They changed the bottle. 
mm -hmm. with this one and then the 10. the 10. They have the same shape. They kept the dark rye and the normal Basil Hayden same. Okay. I think it has that paper like cape. Yeah, right. Yeah. The, the paper cape and the and the bracelet. I don't know. Else, I don't really know what else to say about this one. It's just yeah. no. Nah, it, does, it doesn't wow you. I think it's got potential if it was just the proof was in the '90s. Yeah. So if you're super sensitive to proof and you're just trying to dip a toe into whiskeys, maybe mm -hmm. like it does have a couple flavors, and the the proof shouldn't blow you out by any means because it should, it really doesn't. But no. uh, I I think that's a lot of money to buy for our palates. I full well know. You know, fifty dollars. I can find a much better whiskey at a higher proof that I'm really going to mm -hmm. enjoy all the complexity for fifty bucks that you're not getting there. They're they're catering to that market that really enjoys the original Basil Hayden. Yeah, yeah, which is something like, and it looks. But they always wanted like for years that upper, would be a, it it be kind nicer. of considered it a nicer bottle. Right, exactly. But. I don't know. It presents well. Looks nice, yep. but I, it just mm, not nope. for me. No, there's not <laughs> enough there. Greg, thank you very much for the sample. Uh, I, I, I've had it before, but it was good to just be able to kind of check this one off the list of, of uh, whiskeys to review on the channel. So thanks, Greg. Yeah, but I've, talking to Greg, Greg had kind of the same opinion we did of it. Okay. So we're, we're, we're not... We're not off. We're not off. We're not okay. off. Yeah, appreciate the sample. Just not, not, not enough there for me. Yeah. M moving on. We'll move yep. to something else. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I think we have another whiskey to have. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the, enjoyed this review. Uh, if you did, uh, give us that thumbs up. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell icon. You get notified every time we put an episode. Let us know if there's a whiskey with a similar profile that may have a little more proof. <laughs> uh, I, I like what they're doing. I, I just wish it was a little bit stronger. That's all. They got the, the bookers lined up. I know. Like, 120s, 130s. Well, yeah, but they can't do 100 on this one. I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. Maybe one day we make it up there, we can ask. There you go. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.